This is the position that no team wanted to be in in the lower bracket already here at playoffs. But both of these opponents are very, very familiar with each other and a matchup we have seen many times before. Flash going in behind Chronicle, faces back into its main, finds one. And that's just going to be the cleanup, getting ready to come through. Is shot into the leg, and it's a hey, flawless. Leave it inside, straight down. Leave it inside, straight down. Right. They haven't grabbed the spike just yet. Oh, the instant dink into the spray down. Leo coming up with a second. Out of captain's going to be taken out. Another flash sent. Yet a J with a nice timing. Just catch Chronicle unaware, and yet a J. Another big round from him. Advantage very much here in the hands of Fnatic as they storm their way over onto the A side. Chronicle holding the rope. Ah! He's 13 to five. Fnatic. Not allowing for overtime, not allowing for Foot to even get close here in this opener. And then Attic Captain so ready for those quick rotations. It's on the hunt right now. Boaster at risk. Boaster dead. Blackpack across the Turka. Also dead to rights. Attic Captain with a four piece. Gets Foot up 3 0. Attic Captain having to tuck back. TP up over the top. Not going to be heard here, but Attic Captain still finds out the air. Frax getting another Attic Captain ready for it. Leo up over the top, just waiting patiently here for that wall to fall. He comes away with one, but CNED gets himself a third. CNED feeling it, gets himself the fourth piece, can't find the ace, but still. 13 to 8, Foot will take us the distance. They are not going out without a fight. They are sending us to a set. It's all on Yedice, trying to fish him out, finds it. With the Hunter's Fury already committed, gets some decent damage to swing in, and Leo will bail them out and get Fnatic on the board. Move it. Tries to go for a timing shot, but now the fragment will keep him off the angle. Oh, but no! Scopes back through, finds Elphier. What a round from Foot, what a shot from CNED. Fortunate to be able to drift back after getting a spot here onto CNED. CNED wants to take the pace up and over, spots him, they know exactly where he's at, and he will get taken down. Shock dart, set, head, spotted. Mr. Fallen already finding one. CNET getting the other. It's all tumbling down. Rumors of Fnatic's return were greatly exaggerated, but the Turkish gods showed up to play. 13 to three in his absolute devastation as they cannibalize their own region and send the number one seed team home. Every single time EDG have qualified for an international tournament, they have faced Paper Rex. And it wasn't until recently that they managed to actually take them down. My biggest worry is, though, for EDG, over the last six maps they've played, they've lost every single one of them, and they have only managed to win, in total, 25 rounds. Oh my gosh. Well, the ghouls are going the way of EDG this time. Oh, he wants more! As the flash paves the way, the kills come through. Kong Kong with four, and EDG with their second. Device left alone. Not a ton of HP! Both of them fall, but the Red Bull clutch comes through for Paper Rex. Oh, somehow, something gets to Kong Kong on the snap, but something with the third. Leaving the star on his own to settle the shots. The clip runs dry, something with four, and Paper Rex with nine. And you're not ready for something on top Chuck after Jing has fallen off. And apparently, you're not ready for Forsaken either, as he gets three at the foot of Paper Rex. They cannot stand. Map one goes away of Pacific's number one seed. A fast pace hit here. And a fast entry from Kong Kong. Oh, they're turning the other way. It looked like they were going to go elbow. Give him the wall, give him the utility. But they strike the other way. And they've got him surrounded once more. Really good utility. I don't think that, yeah, Paranoia connected, but it doesn't matter. Oh, sacks! Weaponry on the other side is just not enough as Jin continues to push the pace. A little green goo at his feet. Kong Kong will fall. What a fault line. Smuggy's in a really nice spot, though. Oh, my goodness, what a shot. Chi Chu and Haodong have to win this one on their own. Haodong was so weak, and now he's dead. There it is. And in the face of a full buy from EDG, this close to closing it out. Avoiding the utility, still getting a shot under nobody. He connects on in the second. That very well may be the dagger. Grand finals in LA, lower finals in Madrid. In front of a Chinese crowd, the Heartbreak Kids will not be denied. Not in Shanghai, not yet.